Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is a fighting game that has been around for a while, but has had a rough life due to its poor life, and coming out during the virus era really did a number on it. And that's why Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising was made, an all-around upgrade to the game, but sold as a separate game with all previous DLC as the base roster, in addition to rollback, crossplay, new mechanics, new story content, and Fall Guys. But for some, actually a lot of people, put it in an extra 50 bucks for what seemed to be the same game they bought years ago is a bit too much. And that's why they also made it free to play. Kinda. Let's talk about that. Okay, so there's a semantic issue here. The game Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising has three editions, Deluxe, Standard, and Free. Now, the latter isn't free to play as in you can play for free and decide to spend money on microtransactions whenever you want. No, you can play for free but with very limited access to its features and no way of gaining access to these features unless you upgrade to the full game. You literally cannot spend money in this version of the game at all. And you might think, Aussie. What's the issue here? Well, this isn't the traditional free-to-play model. This is just a free tier. Kind of like how some software has a free tier and you can't do shit unless you buy a license for a higher paid tier. Now, this is important to distinguish so you don't expect the traditional free-to-play model like Brawlhalla or Project L and get disappointed when the only way you can play your main consistently is to fork out a minimum of 50 bucks. And that's what's happening right now. People are disappointed that in the free version, their character choices, or rather lack thereof, is abysmal. In a normal free-to-play, you start with the standard 3-4 to four characters in a weekly rotation you're free to use, in addition to any other characters you've permanently unlocked via real money or premium currency. In this game, you have Gran and three other characters in rotation, and that's it. You're at the mercy of Aaron Jesus every week. Your main isn't in rotation? Tough titty, be a Gran main. But for me personally, I kind of like how it forces me to learn the game through a different character every week. And it's been a fun challenge this past month, although I'd kill for Lance to say forever. There's other restrictions like the only one chapter of the story available, can't enter private rooms, limited customization for characters, and zero customization for your lobby avatar. Which is wild because this game has some banger cosmetics and can be easily monetized in a fully free to play model. I mean, it already has a season pass and a monthly battle pass. This would have been the best free-to-play fighting game that would give Product L a run for its money. But now you just have retail worker Gran and V-themed weapon cutouts. Now, it's not all doom and gloom here, because despite features being restricted, you can still play the game online with others that have the paid version of the game, so you're not separated. But the game sure as hell lets people know you're definitely on a free version. Unfortunately, this game isn't free to play, it just has a free tier. Now if you want something that's completely free, it's up to the channel, costs nothing, and helps me out a lot. Leave a like too while you're at it. Anyways, see ya! Faster, faster, dear. It's like